Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So we're here for another one of our little weeks of love dedicated to Valentine's week. Um, so what we're going to make today, we're going to make some love letters um, or, or love notes. Um, yeah, love letters, love notes, something of that uh, variety. So what have I got here? I've got some vintage documents. And then I've got, again, some of my uh, Valentine's papers. I've also got some other papers, but I'm not sure that we're going to be using those. Um, but we're going to make some little cute, um, you know, love notes that are going to just be like foldy up pieces that you would put into your junk journals. So, yeah, let's kind of get started straight away. Now, I'm just wondering which page I would like to start with. So let's start with oh decisions decisions yeah already i'm falling at the first hurdle which is it's not really great is it right we're going to start with this one so yeah all we're going to do is make a little kind of foldy flap um envelope piece now you can probably see this has got like little um postage stamps with the love kind of emblems on them so we might use one of these to close it up we shall kind of see how we get on really um now i'm just deciding what sort of width we want to make this uh well we're going to make lots so you know yeah let's not get too bogged down let's just go for it and you know hopefully have a few different different width pieces so this one now we want to have our pieces obviously facing upwards so what i'm going to do i'm just going to fold my flap in like this at first now i hope that i make a reasonable -ish job of this okay and then yeah now we could either have it like that and the flat down there yeah that kind of works out quite a good size so just going to fold my flaps down here and then fold this piece up here like that and then our flap coming down like that okay so yeah, now we're going to make a few of these and then we're going to kind of decorate them and embellish them afterwards. So let's take another piece and yeah, let's take this one, for example. Uh, which side do I want to use? I know, I mean, why am I making such a fuss? It probably doesn't really matter which way I do it, but for some reason I find myself then deliberating. <laughs> Okay, so we'll yeah, do the same thing again. Now, of course, we want to have it going upright again. So, yeah, probably having this part showing. So, again, just fold our little flaps. Oops, flaps in. Oops. Not doing a very good job of folding. Oh, my goodness. So, I filmed the other, um, you know, video yesterday where I was also struggling with the you know my clumsiness so yep judging by today it's not going to be any better so oh my goodness oh i think i'm feeling super anxious i've got like some stuff going on at the moment and i'm expecting um you know someone to come around that i've got to do some paperwork with so i'm probably if i'm truthful not kind of in a great you know in great shape for um doing this so yeah but i do apologize now for my shoddy crafting and you know what's going to obviously be shocking shocking folding and things like that but um he will probably turn up at some point whilst i'm doing this video and then i'll you know hopefully go and do my stuff with him and then come back and finish it off and who knows maybe after his visit i will be a bit better who knows so yeah that's another one now should we do a tiny one um yeah let's just have a look through the papers that I've brought along so yeah should we have a tiny one maybe from here or maybe from the center sort of section so again what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to fold this in and use my folds to try and get you know reasonable straightish edge so I just go down here like that okay Okay. Obviously, keep that piece because we will be using that for something else. 
Okay, so we can take this section here. I mean, so much for, you know, straight edge. I can see already how completely wonky that's gone, but never mind. Right. Take this down here. I've got a really sore roof of my mouth for some reason today. It, yeah, it started last night. Um, it's not a sore throat, it's the roof of my mouth. And it was after dinner, so I must have scratched it with, you know, whatever I was eating. I, you know, I didn't notice I had, but yeah, that's clearly what's happened. It's so sore. <laughs> Horrible. It's very, very annoying. So, unless, unless that's an anxiety thing, I don't know. Don't know. Probably more likely I've scratched it, but it's very annoying, that's for sure. Okay. I mean, I, I don't think I had anything to eat that was particularly scratchy, so that's why I'm saying, you know, I'm not sure that I did kind of scratch it, but I guess I must have done. Anyway, very annoying, nonetheless. Because you know when you've got anything sore in your mouth, all you want to do is, you know, keep rubbing your tongue over the sore patch. What's that about? I mean, I've no idea, but, you know, that's probably just making it even more sore. Silly, silly, silly. Right, so that's those. Let's do a big one. So let's pull in sheet that we want to do a big one from. So maybe this sheet here. Um, hmm. Oh gosh, I'm torn which way I want to go with this. Maybe we'll go this end. So again, just going to kind of like fold my pieces in. So we did one of these massive um you know like envelope sort of flips well a while ago now i suppose but yeah we'll just fold those it in there and then this will just come up just the once and then this obviously comes down over here absolutely love these i mean obviously that's full height you know full page height but isn't that just so scrumptious yeah, really, really love that. So let's do a couple with some vintage document, just so as we've got some different, different looks. So I've got this one here, which obviously is a letter. It's slightly, well, I don't know what's happened to that, to be honest, but anyway, discoloured. Uh, now, again, we want to have that probably folded up there, I'm thinking. So, yeah, let's just take this in like that. So again, we're going for a big one. Um, so that hopefully I've got, you know, more of the letter showing rather than cutting it in. Now is this going to work? So it's going to have quite a big flappy, you know, flappy flap. But I don't mind that. I think that's fine because we're going to be putting something decorative on here. So that's going to be fine. Okay. Like that. And we'll just do one or two more with some more vintage vintage documents so let's, right i've got this one uh yeah should we do something here should we do something different a different shape kind of flap so yeah let's oh look it's got this on here which i love uh hmm i put that here as the flap no that's not gonna work is it Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Look, it's not going to work out. Um, oh. <laughs> this is throwing me completely. I'm now just, yeah, completely flummoxed as to, yeah, as to what to do. Oh, I'm going to have to do this, I think. Unless, let's fold it down this way. But that's very weird, isn't it? Oh, that's silly because, look, all I've done is lose it anyway. Oh dear, what am I talking about? Mm, right, unless we tear this one in half. So let's do that. Okay. Mm, is that there like that? No, I haven't really kept it there either. So, oh gosh, what am I doing? Perhaps we'll try and do it like this. So, yeah. Right. Okay, so this looks very boring because now we've just got a plain... Completely plain flap there. Never mind. Right. 
let's have this as a long one i've never done one like this before look it's like oh that's ridiculous because now you still can't really see that until you actually open it oh well that's fine yeah i've never done one like this before i don't know <laughs> why but that sort of strikes me as strange that i've never never done one that shape before you know where it's quite long yeah i quite like that actually worked out quite nice i think so let's do this one actually you know not being ridiculous trying to save that little bit of text which actually didn't really kind of pan out anyway because it's just covered by the flap so yeah but let's do another one of those ones because i really actually quite like that shape that's gorgeous isn't it okay oh, loving how that looks isn't that pretty yeah really really like that weird weird i normally you know i've just always kind of done these where you have multiple folds but for some reason yeah i think that looks really really lovely so i'm going to go back in now and we're just going to glue all of our our flaps closed so and again you know i'm just doing this kind of like all of them together because hopefully that's going to then be a you know faster way to do it so hold on Right, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, right, we're going to now quickly glue these flaps all closed. And then we can obviously do the fun part, which is, of course, decorating these up and making them look gorgeous and scrumptious. So, oops, I've just mopped up my glue that was seeping out everywhere with this. So let me just grab, oh, I've got some dry wipes that have slid onto the floor. So, uh, yeah, right okay oh dear sorry right okay okay right okay so we'll just yeah glue all these flaps down Anyway, so I hope that everybody is having a good day. Maybe you're doing some crafting. I hope you're having a nice time. Do share in the comments, you know, what you're working on. It's always really great to, to hear what people are working on because, um, you know, if ever you're struggling with for a bit of inspiration, it can really be very helpful to, yeah, to inspire and kind of things off so okay right weirdly enough those road works that were there previously they seem to have gone now so still no clue what they were actually doing you know why they were even road works in there or on there in the first place but anyway they're gone now so that's all good i've now got somebody here doing something in my house like um you know a, a job that needed doing so yeah i may have to leave you guys again at, at some point if i get called downstairs but if not then we shall continue having a nice time so right there we go just going to adjust my camera slightly i seem to be having such a lot of problems at the moment with getting my camera angle just right and um i do apologize it's yeah i don't know what's going on with it but it's misbehaving a lot which is pretty annoying okay okie dokie Oh, I don't think I've done that very evenly at all, have I? No. It's, it's not looking good. Oh my goodness. Making that actually worse. It's actually making it worse, to be honest. Oh dear. Right, hopefully that looks okay now. Okay, we've got our teeny weeny one. I mean, you don't have to glue your flaps down. Um, you know, I don't think everybody does glue their flaps down when they make things like this, to be honest. But I think they're quite nice when they're glued down. I mean, obviously, if you leave them open, the bonus is you can then obviously journal on the, you know, on the under flaps. Um, but 
yeah I think they operate better particularly if you're going to be decorating your you know the, what's in going to be the envelope flap then I think they work better being glued down I'm so sorry my camera slipped down again can you see that I don't know what that's about let me just adjust it again okay right fingers crossed Fingers crossed. Right, there we go. Okay, so we've got a few here now. It's all looking quite pretty. So I'm going to start, I think, with the decorative ones and then we'll go to the, you know, the vintage document ones. So I've got the decorative ones here. Okie dokie. So this one here, I'm just wondering whether we could use one of these probably need my my hair thinning scissors oops um, what's happened to those there we go right we're just going to cut that out okay. so I want to go for this one with the with the images of the couple Oops. Oh my goodness, what's happened to these? I can only assume my daughters use these and uh, cut something sticky with them because they are now kind of sticking in the paper. Oh, honestly. Children. What can I say? Can you see that? They're just like literally sticking in there, which is very weird, isn't it? Yeah. Right, okay. Okay. so yeah I mean isn't that gorgeous and then we can obviously have that on there so what I will do is pop that onto something else to make it a bit more robust so I've just got here some craft card so let's just pop it onto here okay I might just quickly ink the edges of this I've not made a very good job of cutting it so just ink the edges my blendy tool. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okie dokie. So I'm just going to glue this down onto the craft card. So, I mean, obviously, this is not cardboard or anything like that, but it's just going to give it a bit of robustness. Okay. Press that down. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut around it. I'm going to try with these hair thinning scissors. I'm just going to try it here. I'm not sure whether they would want to cut through that. Oh, they're not too bad, actually. Right. So I'm going to cut them, I think, with an edge. Oops. Come on. Okay. Like that. Oh dear. Put it a bit close to the bottom so it was a bit tricky to get to. Just trim off the little edges like that. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty, doesn't it? And then we'll just ink that up as well. So we can have that there. Now I've got some of that gorgeous red lace. I don't know whether this is going to look quite right, but let's give it a try. Oh my goodness. Yummy, yummy. Doesn't that just look very lovey? Lovey and yummy and gorgeous. So yeah, should we have that up here or should we have it down there? Oh, I love it in both places. So now I'm think probably at the bottom so what I'm going to do I'm just going to glue this down onto the flap now I'm going to just glue here on the very edge and then just glue here on the actual kind of bit itself so hopefully I've really kind of secured it nicely like that okay we're just going to squish that down 
Okay, so now we've got quite a nice thick, you know, um, well, it's not a closure, but you know, a tab. And then we can pop this lace down here at the bottom. So again, let's just check it's gonna be going on right. Okay, like that. Okay, all right, let's just spread my glue out. Okie dokie. Like that. Okay, right, looking good. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look so yummy, yummy. Absolutely love it. Now you can put something on the back, um, you know, up to you really. I guess it depends, is it going to be a, you know, glued down piece or whether it's going to be a tuck in piece. I mean, I quite like this. And for me, this feels a nice size to have as a glued down piece. So, you know, I might not actually do anything on the back of there, but yeah, you definitely could. I just got these little pearls. I don't know whether these might be too big. Uh, I was going to kind of put like a row of three. I always quite like the row of three. But they're too big for that. So let me just see. They might be going to be too big for this as well. They just look like a big monstrous weird. Oops. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's too much. Too much, do we think? Yeah, possibly. Let me put these back down. Right. Let me try here. Oops. Mm. Don't mind them, but to be honest, I can't help but think my usual oops, my usual black bling would probably be better. So let's just move those out of the way. Okay. Let's just get my oops, get my bling right. There we go. <gasps> it just never fails, does it? It's so pretty. Oh, I have got this pearly trim, actually. I'm just going to try that. Oh, that one's equally nice, actually. No, I'm going to go for this. Honestly, just my favourite. Favourite ever. It's always the black. The black bling. So, yeah. Right, pop that there. Oops. Like that. Oh, oh dear, sorry, this is now, oh dear, lifting slightly, oh, <laughs> oh, again, another how not to, because I've now got glue kind of seeped out there, well, it looks okay, to be honest, yeah, I have kind of got a bit of glue there, but it's, it's okay, so isn't that yummy and gorgeous, so that's that one, right, let's do another one, so we've got this one, okay, now I have got got a bow somewhere which I just saw where is that here just wondering whether the bow might be quite nice or I'm not sure let me just try this on here oh my goodness honestly this lace is so scrumptious isn't it so again I mean I quite like it without that scalloped edge so I'm just going to cut the scalloped edge off okay. now we have it over there like that so again, just going to glue that down here, like that. Okie dokie. Press that down. Oops. Like that. Okay, let's just see what these bits are. Oops. I've got... I just thought that blue flower might look quite nice there as a contrast. I mean, I'm not sure now I've put it there. But yeah, I just thought I would try it as it was there. I've got this little flower trim, pearly flower trim. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Oh, that's looking quite pretty. I wonder what we could put on here with that. So let's just take this. Okie dokie. Right. So what I'm thinking on there... Oh, what am I thinking? I've got some flowers. Let's try these. <gasps> oh, how about that one? Right, let's try this. So if that went there, with maybe that one in the centre. Oh my goodness, isn't that lovely? So, you know, remember we're going for like romantic, lovey, you know, yummy loveliness. Or 
lovey yumminess or yummy loveyness. I'm not sure which way to say that, but anyway, that's that's what we're going for. So yeah, pop that one on. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So that can go on there. So again, just glue that down. Oops. Oh dear, sorry, now I'm getting all the flowers stuck on my arm. <laughs> this is where I just end up then going out the house later with stuff hanging off of me. Yeah, it's just like, you know, occupational hazard, having craft items stuck on you later. I love that one. Isn't that just so yummy? Okay, so that's that there. Let's put those out the way again. Okay, right. Let's do this teeny weeny one. So maybe the teeny weeny one, maybe with the bow. Or I have got this little flower. Oh, that's really cute. I mean, that's just so simple, isn't it? But just perfect. Absolutely perfect to finish that off. I'm just going to put this under. So as if the glue spreads out, it doesn't glue the, you know, the flap closed. The glue's just obviously touched onto the card, so there we go. I mean, I don't even know if that needs any lace or anything on there, to be honest. Let me just try a little bit of ivory lace. Oh, let's try that. Okay. Sorry, just had to check and see whether that was a message, you know, about the stuff that's going on at the moment today um oh do we think with the lace or without the lace i mean weirdly enough it's two different looks isn't it i think um yeah this to me looks a bit like a clutch handbag which i love and when you put the lace oops the lace on it just you know changes the look and stops it looking like that i like them both equally um yeah, I do like them both equally. Let's just go for the let's go for the lace, shall we? Okay, like that. Oh, yummy, yummy. Okay, so that looks very pretty, doesn't it? Right, then we've got this giant one here. So I'm going to cut this little edge off because that's where my printer didn't quite print borderless. So we just take that down. Okay. Hopefully that's still going to open and look okay. Yeah. Okay, love this one, I have to say. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, because this is a massive one, I'm just going to ink around a little bit on the, you know, the edges and things. Didn't really need to on the others. A, because they were, you know, they were smaller. And B, because they were quite dark papers you know the red papers and things so you know the inking probably wouldn't really show up or make much difference but on this one I think it does make a difference so yeah let's pop this down okay and ink around the edge okay like that right okay now what do we want to do on here? I was thinking we could use one of my heart printables. Now, I don't know whether they're going to be too big. Let me just nip off and get some. Hold on. Right, I'm back. So I have printed off some of my hearts printables. Um, yeah, let's find one that's going to look good and look pretty with the papers. Quite liking the look of this one. Oh. Or, or could go for something like this or we could go for even a contrasting one I suppose so let's just let's just put a couple of these out let's see oh I don't know now it's a tough decision or maybe even something like this mm, I don't know I don't know right okay this one out okay mm. 
<sighs> right. That on. Okay. Oh, nearly done. Okay, right. So, um, oh, I'm not sure now how to put it. Maybe like that, or we could have it kind of going this way. So sorry, I've still got obviously my chaps, um, you know, doing some bits here. So, of course, the dog's now barking. Right, let's just try this one. Yeah, I don't know whether a contrast is going to be nicer or whether a, um, you know, more blending in one would be better. So let's just see. And I mean, to be honest, we could. Oh, I mean, that's quite nice. Oh, that is quite nice. Yeah, let's just try this one now. I mean, I've printed off the hearts in a variety of sizes because I wasn't sure, again, whether I wanted to have them large or, you know, smaller, sort of a snugger fit. But actually, I think the large ones are really nice. Well, they're not the largest of the hearts. Um, yeah, there are some larger ones, but yeah, I think they would obviously be too too big for this. So let's just check this one. Oh, oh, now I'm not sure. Again, wish I could hear you guys and you could say, I mean, I quite like the contrasting one, particularly this brown one actually is lovely, isn't it? But having said that, I do actually quite like the cream. So yeah, perhaps we'll have to play it safe and go with the cream. So let's just ink around it a bit. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I'm hoping by the end of all these videos, we're just going to have like a whole bundle of yummy, you know, lovey kind of things that we can, uh, you know, look through and uh, bundle up together. Now, do we want to have some ivory lace or something on this? Or should we go with the, the red that we have been going with? Uh, I mean, I really, really love the, um, the look now of that ivory heart definitely pleased with that one. Oh yeah definitely the red lace looks gorgeous doesn't it let's just check whether we want to have it because we could have just a little strip going down on this side like that we could have it here like that or we could have it obviously on this edge with the flap I, I quite like it on here I think so hold on Right, I've just cut the squiggly edge off again because I'm not over keen on that. So let's put this down here like that, I think. So yeah, love how that looks. So I'm just going to glue this down again, just using the the wet glue. Oops, just pop that down there. Okay, like that. Okay, right. Press that down. Okay, this we shall have here. Now, I'm just wondering whether I might finish this off with like a gem of some sort. So, hold on, oops, not those, right? Okay. So, I've got some hearts here, which I'm thinking, hmm. Oh, I've got some tiny ones or I've got some bigger ones. Let's have a look. Could have. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness, how lovely does that look? Well, we could just have it with the heart on the, the flap there. That's quite nice, isn't it? So I'm just going to put this down. Actually, just before I put it down, sorry, I keep chopping and changing my mind. I'm thinking maybe have a couple of, you know, like bits of lace kind of coming out like a little streamer. So like that, what do we think? It's very pretty, isn't it? Looks quite Alice in Wonderland here. Always when I see hearts and, um, you know, anything like that, it just reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. So, right, now. 
Are we putting this here on there or is it overhanging? I think it's quite snug on there. So I'm just going to put it on with the hot glue like that. Okay. Right. Okay, like that. And don't know. Yeah, maybe back there, I think. There or there. Perhaps at the edge, just because I think functionality wise, it's going to work better on the edge. I, I probably prefer it if I'm truthful on the inner, you know, this edge. But I think functionality wise, it's better on the outer edge. So, like that. Okay, yeah, looking good. Oh my goodness, how pretty does that look? Right, okay, so now we've got the ones which are obviously from the documents. So let's bring those in. And for these, I'm thinking, put some of the pretty Valentine's papers on with them. So I had coffee dyed the other ones. I've got a bunch here which I haven't coffee dyed. So I'm thinking possibly use some of these. Right, let's just bring in a couple. Yeah, right, let's just keep those. And, okay. So let's just tear some of this, just to put sort of around on here. So, yeah, I mean, doesn't that look gorgeous, to be honest? So, probably don't need anywhere near that amount. So I'm just going to take it down here. Like that. Okay. Just cut that down. Okay. Right. Let's take that. Uh, yeah, let's just take that in like this. Oh, that looks very, very pretty, doesn't it? So we just glue this one down like that okay and yeah oh so sorry those just going mad again so hold on a second okay i'm so sorry about that right okay so we have glued this sheet here down now do we think another a rosebud again on here might be quite nice a rosebud no not a rosebud a heart so again let's pop a heart down here Okay. Oh gosh, now my phone's pinging. I'm so sorry. It's just honestly one of those days. Right, okay. Again, I'm using one of the, um, I say bigger hearts, like I say, that you do actually get a few really large hearts. So these are like the medium, medium size ones. But yeah, I think that's, that's good size on there. Isn't that gorgeous? So again, just going to ink this up. Okie dokie, and we just, I mean, this is vintage document, so it's sort of discoloured any, oops, discoloured anyway. This is that one with that big patch of discoloured stuff here. So we'll just ink around everywhere. Okay. Right. Okie dokie. Oh, right so we've got that like that that there and then right now this one I'm thinking shall we have this as like a sort of clipped in piece in which case we can have something on the back so let's see what we might like to put on the back of here we could just take like this section here from the, the pretty papers so let's just fold that down Oops, about here. Yeah, we'll go for about here, but we might need to, might need to adjust that. I don't know whether this is going to look any good, but let's see. Okay. So, yeah. Now, obviously this is quite a long, narrow piece. So I'm just going to keep this kind of, you know, kind of long and narrow so it's similarly shaped. Okay. Right. Let's take that bit. 
there off. Okay, that looks nice, doesn't it? So we're just quickly ink this up a bit. Now, just wondering. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Love that. Now I'm going to ink the back of this heart just because if any of this is overhanging, I don't want it to look, you know, stark white. So we're just over, or well, ink over there, like that, okay? Right, I mean, how pretty does that look? So yeah, let's just pop this down. Okie dokie, like that. Okay, right, I'll just glue this down and then like that. Let me just get my glue spreader and um, spread that down. Like that. Oops. Okay. Oh, how pretty does that look? Now, do we want to have some more of this, this red lace on? It's just, it looks so lovely, doesn't it? When you kind of add that on there, it does look gorgeous. But, I mean, we will have had it on nearly every piece we've done, or maybe every piece we've done. I've lost track now, but... But it does look lovely, so, yeah. So let's just put this on the front. Now, again, I'm thinking, do we need anything else on here? Or maybe we should have the... I don't know. Let's put this down anyway. Oops. Oh. I've got something stuck on there. Right, okay. Okay, like that. Pop that down there, like that. Okay. That looks pretty, doesn't it? And then here, I'm just wondering whether we could take one of these bits and pop it on like a sort of postage stamp so let me just get rid of that okay let's just take that oops oh gosh sorry let's just okay like that. right let's cut off the frayed kind of not frayed but you know those long sort of edges let's just take that down okay right let's just ink this up so weird that feels like a like a genuine postage stamp on the back I don't know why that would be but yeah for some reason it feels a bit like a sort of proper postage stamp anyway so we could put that there now do we want it there or right over maybe right over actually so uh, let's pop that down like that okay oh my goodness doesn't that look lovely right let's just quickly ink get more on there because it wasn't looking that that aged right now I've got my postmark stamp so I think we will have that going over now I'm wondering whether we should have that in different color you know to traditional black whether we should go with sort of red or something so is it's what do we think do we think that will look just weird I mean, to be fair, we have got black here, you know, on that writing. Because I was thinking, oh, do we want to have black? But yeah, I mean, there is black, you know, obviously here. So I, yeah, it might just look really strange if I go with a different colour. So I think we'll have to go with the obvious. So, okay. Oh, that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Okie dokie. Right, let's pop, oops, pop that away. Now, back over to this side. Now I've put that postage stamp down, which has obviously got the red. I'm now thinking perhaps we should have this. I can't decide, to be honest. I mean, I know we have got red everywhere on here. Let me just try a bit of ivory. Hmm. 
you know, I'm thinking maybe the ivory. Yeah, let's do that. So let's just take that. I'll have that there. Actually, do you know, let me just check just before we commit to this whether we want to have a bit of, you know, decorative paper kind of on the flap here. Just take that down. So if that were cut, you know, I'm just experimenting here, sort of trying to imagine if it were cut, you know, sort of to size. Like oh, what do we think to that? Let me just stink this up. Right, okay, hold on. Right, hopefully that was definitely the last interruption we're going to have today. Okay, right, let's put this um, decorative piece of paper on here. So, oops. you have to be careful when you're gluing bits of paper on like this. Because if you don't go right up to the, you know, the corners, that's where you get those bits that are going to be... Not, I'm not saying flapping around, no, because, I mean, obviously, they're not flapping around. But, you know, where they get caught, it is the corners that are actually the, you know, the sort of important bit to actually get your your glue going up to. So, now, do we want that bit of lace on there? I mean, to be honest, I'm actually not minding this without lace, which is very, very unusual for me. I don't very often kind of, you know, have a preference for no lace, but yeah, I'm actually not minding this without lace, funny enough. Now, I did print off some of my um, uh, butterflies. So I've got some here in, you know, pinks and things. So let's just... these three actually that's and then we'll pick you know pick the best color so yeah right oh I'm so sorry I can't apologize enough for what a crazy silly day it's been for my filming I mean I've lost track of the amount of times I've stopped the video but it's probably something like 11 times so I just really really sorry scatty scatty video I yeah really do apologize for that um, but, you know, hopefully when I edit it and sort of stick all the bits together, it will still come across, you know, as a comprehensive kind of, um, well, project, I suppose. So, whoops, just, just touch the end of my hot glue gun. I mean, that's not very wise, is it? Nobody wants to touch the end of their hot glue. Right. So, I mean, that looks gorgeous on there, doesn't it? I'm just going to take this one. Okay. Like that. Okie dokie. Okay. Oh, it's turned really chilly now. Where I've been up and down, up and down, up and down, I've... You know, I've not felt too cold, but now suddenly there seems to be like a chill coming into the room. So, uh, yeah, I'm obviously now going to start feeling chilly. So, right, actually, I think that colour's better. What do we think to having it there? And then I did have that tiny little pearly heart. So maybe we could have that on here or something like that. I mean, not very often that I go for things without lace, but funnily enough, I actually think this looks pretty, you know, pretty, pretty without the lace. So, yeah, let's kind of just just go with it or go for it without the lace. Now, do we like this here or here? I actually prefer it here on this one. So, and this one's not such a big button anyway. So we'll just, yeah, we'll just brave it, having it kind of more in the middle of the 
envelope rather than on the edge like that oh my gosh isn't that gorgeous i absolutely love it really really love it okay so then we're just going to turn it over and see whether we want to put a butterfly or anything on this side so i mean we could have a bit of lace i guess on this side oh do you know i was going to print off my um fairy tale words because i thought they would be really nice with these kinds of um envelopes right i'm going to put some glue here uh lace here i didn't think i could make it through the whole video without adding lace somewhere or without not through the whole video but through this whole envelope okay right so yeah let's just have that butterfly there looks absolutely gorgeous doesn't it so you know and we could just have this then paper clipped on to a page so like that right hopefully yeah hopefully that's looking good and you probably just heard the front door close so I think that was my my chaps just leaving so yeah hopefully definitely won't be interrupted again so oh what a nightmare what a nightmare right Oh, no. uh, uh. Bye, sweetie. Right. So we could have a bit of um, bling there, or you know, we could just put a bit of bling, I suppose, on the on the butterfly here. Should we do that? Yeah. Let's have it there. Like that. okay oh my goodness isn't that gorgeous absolutely gorgeous love it right that one okay so now we've got these two which were the irregular shaped ones so again not quite sure what we want to do with these this one i mean unfortunately i did this so that i had this fancy bit of text showing it actually doesn't really show it's yeah kind of looking really plain and boring isn't it so let's just squish this down because it keeps Kind of curling up right so let's ink around this i'm just wondering do you know oh my goodness doesn't that look awesome let's just see actually we might prefer to have that on here with the black text so yeah let's do that so just going to squish this one down like that. right going to ink this quite a bit so we've got a nice you know nice aged appearance where are you, Bo? She's obviously feeling funny because there's been, you know, interruptions galore today. And, you know, one person after another ringing the doorbell. So, um, yeah, she's obviously feeling weird as well. You know, she can't settle either. Hello, gorgeous girl. That's it. You come to your bed now. Okay, right. So we might hear the door go soon, actually, because then my son will be in. But yeah, hopefully that will be that will be the last interruption. And obviously, you know, hopefully I won't have to go to the door to let him in. Unless, of course, he's <laughs> not got his key or anything like that. Oh, dear. Right. OK. There we go. So, yeah, I've just gone on the inside as well. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look gorgeous? Yeah. And then, yeah, this heart, I mean, doesn't that look so pretty? Even, you know, with nothing else on there, it looks lovely, doesn't it? So we're going to have that there tucked in, you know, so that's going to be the the flap um, closure. So whenever I do closures like this, what I like to do is bring the shape up with the item that tucks into it if that makes sense because then you know exactly where to glue round and what I'm saying by that is I can literally put my glue you know pretty close to where the item's going to tuck now if I didn't do that 
I could end up misjudging and actually gluing it down like too much if that makes sense you know the, the glue would be kind of like over whoops over where the piece tucks in so that's just a sort of handy way to get your glue in the right place okay oh my goodness doesn't that look absolutely lovely I really really love how that looks right super super pretty so got that now do we want to have a butterfly or anything on here uh, again let's see what I've got here let's just try this green one might be that this is a bit big and I could have probably done with printing these off two to a page because um yeah I think it's probably going to be a bit on the large side for this but let's just give it a try okay yeah definitely it's suddenly turning really nippy I mean I've got on a jumper and a sort of jumper dress but you know kind of like it's now got to that time of day where well I mean I'm not sure there was any sun today if I'm truthful but you know kind of that time of day where then if there was sun it's definitely gone and it's yeah getting up to um I don't know what the time is to be honest but two o'clock or something so yeah it's getting to that sort of colder time of day now you know we've had the best of the day haven't we by two o'clock in the winter it's it's gone now right okay mm. that's quite pretty i don't know i quite like the simplicity of it just with the um heart i think actually so let's just see whether i want to have anything else Again, you know, maybe just a little bit of lace or something. So let's just take that down. Actually, I've got this bit here, which is rather nice. Let's move those hair thinning scissors out of the way. Okay, might just quickly ink this up so it's a bit more vintagey looking. Now, do we like it on the top or on the bottom? The only reason I'm kind of preferring the top is because it will be, from a practicality point of view, probably better to have it at the top. So, you know, it's not necessarily that I think it looks better at the top, but I think just from a sort of usability point of view, it will be better, oops, better at the top. So, yeah, let's have it up there. Okay uh and let's just pop the mm. yeah shall we have that on there again i mean i'm not necessarily feeling like it needs it to be honest let me just see whether we could have just a little pearl on the oh that's gorgeous so really tiny isn't it i mean that's such oops, such a tiny little addition but it makes quite a big impact. You know, just by having that little tiny pearl, that just kind of brings that transformed, doesn't it? Yeah, very simple. That is very simple. Again, I don't know whether I want to necessarily cover up the back. Um, you know, I don't know how I would be using this, whether it would be being glued to a page or whether it would be being tucked in. Let me just take this heart and see you know what it would look like with a heart on the back it might look very strange because I don't know about you guys but I get a bit hung up on you know if it's looking like an envelope or you know it's operating like an envelope it should I guess have like shapes like an envelope so you know where you'd have like an address to me that's rectangular or square so having a heart there I'm not sure feels quite right but having said that actually it looks better than I expected so we could yeah we could do that to be honest do you know I quite like that um do we want to have anything else on there I actually think it's quite nice without 
you know, without any other kind of decoration. So, yeah, let's just pop this down. I'm just going to put it right down, you know, completely squished. I'm just going to move this out of the way so I can open it up. Only because I've got that pearl now. So otherwise I'd have a little bit of a lump, you know, a bumpy sort of surface for me to be pressing this down against. So there we go. Oh my goodness, isn't that lovely? And then that just tucks in to there like that. Oh, just thought, do we want some, some of my black bling just on that lace? Let's just have a look. Again, I very, very rarely, rarely think things look better without bling. But actually, do you know what? I can't help but think maybe this one does look better without the bling. It's it's very simple, but, you know, I think the simple just actually really suits it. I love the fact it's got that black text and just, yeah, just kind of like really looks good with just the black text. Right, last one. So this one, obviously, very, very plain um, because we've kind of like, you know done it this way round so i'm now thinking the only thing is what's inside is obviously um you know it's not journal journalable because it's obviously patterned so from that perspective i feel like it needs obviously something in there so maybe like some sort of flippy pad or something like that just because otherwise there's no journalable surface so let's just take this, just cut this down. Okay, and let's just cut this down here. Oh dear. Like that. Oh gosh, look. Again, just what a terrible job I've done of cutting. Terrible, terrible. Oh dear. Right. So you could have a like flippy pad or we could just glue this on like that so actually i think i'm going to glue it on as little bits of of journaling space so let's just clear that off okay right okay so sorry i've got my glue laying down so that it's hopefully not going to be you know drying out at all or anything so yeah, I do apologise if you can just see the glue seeping out and filling out all over the desk. But I mean, especially, you know, now that the room's getting cold, I know I talk about this all the time, but I think it is a temperature related thing. So when the room gets cold, you know, the glue then clogs up or not clogs up, but, you know, won't come out. So it's really helpful to have it resting on my hot glue gun because it keeps the glue warm enough to then want to pour out. So the only downside is obviously, like you can see, it's then oozing out on the desk. But because I'm doing videos and I don't want it clogging up, I still think that's preferable. Because obviously it's very frustrating when I'm constantly having to unclog my, my glue. So, oh no, look at what I've just done. Could I be any worse of a crafter today? I'm so sorry. Oh, I mean, I know, obviously, I should probably be much more professional and edit these bits out, you know. But, you know, I just think... I don't want to edit them out, you know. It just... We all have things like this happen. So you can see, I mean, I've kind of gone back down and I've straightened it out. It looks okay. But, yeah, there's no point pretending that we're perfect, is there, when, you know, we're clearly not. <laughs> no, I say we. Obviously, I mean me. Um, yeah, just not perfect at all. And hey, these things happen. So hopefully you feel encouraged. You know, if you are a similar sort of crafter to me and have these things happen frequently, um, you can see now that we all just have it. And you can just get around it by just doing these little, you know, little tweaks like that. We just obviously pulled the paper back out and, you know, went back down the other way. 
it's not perfect but you know we're not we're not trying to make something perfect if you want something perfect then you know that's when you buy something that's you know factory produced mass produced in a factory setting you know we're not looking for that are we so and that's what I just tell myself you know we're not looking for that right okay so we've got this now let's just have a look back through my papers and just see so right again going to just pull in papers I think that haven't been coffee dyed oops hang on hmm. I mean, again, this is ridiculous, but I'm now hoarding, hoarding the coffee dyed papers, which, who, who does that? I mean, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? You know, like coffee dyeing is so, you know, so time consuming or so, you know, terrible to do that as soon as you've done it, you have to hoard things. But that's just how my brain my brain works it's like oh I don't want to use it you know it's taken all that time coffee dyeing it I did also iron the papers so not only did I spend that time coffee dyeing but ironing as well which oh my goodness given the fact I don't iron my clothes right okay so this was what I was looking for is I've got a few of the papers in the um, Valentine's collection where they've actually got like sort of images like these so I'm thinking on this particular piece, I'm thinking put an actual image down. Oh, that's my son. Um, so put an actual image down, you know, with one of the decorative kind of images. So I'm thinking one of these, actually. They're quite lovely, aren't they? With this couple in the, what do you call these? The grandstand? Could that be what that's called? Yeah quite nice isn't it so that one I'm just holding it up to the light to see where that comes that will be too big so I'm going to go for this one round here now I'm just going to tear that down I like the the torn look okay so just tear that down like that okay like that okie dokie now I'm just going to get rid of that little bit of red off to the edge there okay oh my goodness doesn't that look so pretty and then we're just going to ink that up a little bit okay so yeah I mean how gorgeous does that look and then here just got those words love so I think what I'll do is just tear out one of those like that okay again just ink that up a bit okay oops so you can have that on there oh my goodness doesn't that look beautiful absolutely love it now thinking maybe something pink on here um no yeah i just spotted this flower as you can see it's just one petal so i'll have to bring in those other flowers got oh, just a green one these are just you know stuff that's laying around on the desk to be honest could have that um i don't know what's happened to the rest of that petal or you know the rest of that flower but yeah, I can't see it anywhere on the desk. So let's just check. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my goodness. I mean, isn't that gorgeous? A complete departure from the whole, you know, red red lace that we've been using so far. Um, but very pretty nonetheless. So, yeah, should we have... Should we try a bit of that up there? Okay. Now I'm thinking, do we need anything in the background of this? So, or we could cut out maybe one of the flowers. Now I'm not sure how good my, my cutting is going to be, but let's give this a try. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to just take this section here as well. 
and I'm also going to take this red rose. Now, I don't know whether I want red, if I'm truthful, um, but, you know, we'll just kind of have it there just in case. So I'm just going to take this little postcard like that. OK. Right. So we could have a postcard there. Let's just ink that up. Like that. Okay. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look gorgeous? So I'm just literally putting things here at the moment while I'm deciding sort of the, um, you know, composition that this is going to take. So let's just take this rose. Now, do I... I'll just take this stem and you know this might not really have the stem on there you know might cut it off in a minute might not even have the leaves might cut those off but I'll just start by trying it with the leaves and with the stem and then we'll kind of like <laughs> cut it down from there if we need to so yeah let's just go there let's just take this Oh, that's very pretty, isn't it? I think I'm going to just cut these petals off here, actually. And then we'll just go round. Let's just ink that up again. Let's just try that here. Oh, I mean, doesn't that look so pretty? So I'm just going to put this down here. Oops. I'm just going to wipe the nib of my glue. Okay. Like that. Isn't that such a pretty image? It looks so gorgeous, doesn't it? What a, you know, really pretty couple they are, aren't they? Okay, oh, it's a now. Oh, I've got glue all over that flower. Oh, got glue all over there as well. Wow. To say it's shoddy crafting is just an understatement today, to be honest. Right. So, yeah, we've got the inner pages I've got this here, so I'm going to put this one down now. Okay. Excuse the back of this. This has got things, you know, from when I'm doing like printables and things on the back. I don't like wasting paper, so I do like to, you know, print on the backs when I'm making things. So, um, you know, making printables and things. So I'm just going to get a fresh wipe from on the floor. Where I've got a few that have dried out and then they slipped off of the um slipped off of the desk. Right. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? Right. So we could have this here. Let's have the word love. Oh, we could have oops, the word love here, I guess, or mm -hmm. or Oh, oh, oh. this up here now I'm just going to see whether I'm going to have this flower put together so let's just put this petal down I'm just going to put that green flower on here and just see how they look together I've only got two petals here so I might have to get another layer because that might just look a bit you know a bit wispy and not very significant so let's just see okay Oops. So if we had that like that, I don't know, to be honest, because I really like the look of this flower down here. It's a very pretty colour, isn't it? And this feels a little bit bright in comparison. So from that point of view, I think oh, maybe I'd prefer to, you know, to go more with these sort of browns and greens, really. Uh just can't decide on this I'm just wondering am I going to put this on the back right let me take this and see whether this is going to fit on the back it is big but I could probably cut or you know tear some off so 
I'm thinking, let's tear this down like that first and then see how much smaller it needs to get to actually fit on here. So if I went down here, okay, right, so let's take this side off and then take off a bit more of this height like that and then just take down here and then I'm just going to tear it off from the bottom so we're going to lose their feet like that oh my goodness how pretty does that look right I'm just going to take it in a bit more because yeah I think it needs to be a bit smaller still Okay, right, let's pop that there. And yeah, we're just going to drink this up again. I mean, this one's very romantic, of course, isn't it? Because, you know, it's got that romantic couple, so they look very pretty, don't they? Now, just wondering whether we might want to have anything else from this original paper. So we could have maybe this section here or this section here. So let's just take this down. I love it when you can really utilize, you know, a lot of the a lot of the paper and not have so much, you know, waste. So we could have that just poking out here at the side, maybe just a little bit like that. Or at the top, what do we think? I think sideways on actually is quite nice. So, yeah, let's pop that down. Okay. Like that. Put that down there. Okay, right. Then we've got this one. Let me just pop, pop this down. Oops. Like that. Okay, and then now, do we like it like that? Could even have I mean, that's quite pretty, isn't it? And then I wonder got the other word saying love here so we could probably incorporate that as well we're really not wasting anything here are we so yeah let's just ink this up okay or i wonder if we could have something else saying romance so yeah i've got some other pages where i've got that I have got one of those rosebuds in there, but that's very wasteful of that sheet of paper, isn't it? Um, oh, sorry if you can hear Bo kind of groaning. She's just letting us know she's there. Yep, she just likes to obviously let us know that she's she's there and I'm disturbing her. Right. Oh, do you know, I think I'm going to do that. So, yeah, let's put this rose down because cut it out now. Might as well use it. So, like that. Okay. Let's have this here. Like that. Really do love this side. So... Yeah, this side's absolutely gorgeous, I have to say. I just haven't decided what to do up here. So we could even just have it like this with the bow, to be fair. Right there. Yeah, that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Should we do that? And maybe just have a little bit of... Um, maybe a little bit of... Oh. Just 
just take this. Probably a bit weird and also I've put it a bit weirdly shaped, but we could maybe have something like that. So just cross there. Just do that. So if we had that there like that, and then the bow here, oops. So yeah, obviously I've gone off the idea of using that flower for the minute, although <clears throat> when I dragged it into that position just now, it strangely looked quite nice there. So I might, might relent. Oh, hmm. which way did I think this? I don't think that was the um, angle I had it just now, but anyway, put it on there like that. And then the word love I have here. Like that, okay. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous is this looking? Right, now, do we want to have the bow here? Just check in how that would look with the flower. I mean, it's quite a lot on there. And ordinarily, I'd kind of say no, but there's something calling me to say, mm, it looks quite nice. So, yeah, let's just pop that down there like that. I think we'll have the O there. Okay. Like that. Okay. Just press it down from this side because obviously that hot glue is just seeping out slightly. I don't want to end up gluing it down by accident. So yeah, that's quite nice. And then let's just check. So we could either have flower there and again could have maybe like a little flower centre or something like little gem on there. I mean, that's rather gorgeous, isn't it? Or we could have no flower and just a bit of bling on there. So, yeah, very fussy or not so fussy. Do you know, should we go for fussy? I don't very often do things quite as fussy as this, to be honest. But I do quite like the look of that. So, yeah, let's put a gem on the front. Oops. Oh, did you see that? My hot glue gun's now got a pen stuck on it. Yep. It's got the biro stuck on the side. Oh my goodness. What you can't find laying around on my desk. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that is so pretty, isn't it? Absolutely love how that looks. So you've got journaling space inside and then, yeah, like that. And then what we could even do is for this one, maybe have a Velcro dot, I think it lends itself to that. So let me just get my Velcro dots. I like to always stick these together like that before gluing them down. Now I have to say in the past, I always add glue because I don't have much faith in them staying stuck on. However, I'm trying to be a bit more trusting because sometimes I think the glue actually kind of, um, yeah, can be less sticky than the stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to go with their, you know, their self adhesive that they come with and trust that that's going to hold them. So hopefully it will. Right, okay. Let's see the envelopes that we made today. So let's pull them all in. We've made a lot actually, although it's taken me like so many times of stopping and starting the video. I've actually made quite a lot. So this gorgeous one here opens right down like that. You've got journaling space inside. I love how that looks. Very, very different for me, but I do love it. We've got this one with the tuck-in flap and journaling space inside there. So absolutely gorgeous. And then you've just got the heart on the back like that. Isn't that so pretty? 
we've got this gorgeous one here which again this is some vintage documents and you've just got journaling space in there like that again just really really pretty again you could have like a velcro dot or something on here if you wanted i mean i quite like it just as it is and to be honest you know if you were worried or you know if you wanted to you could just have like a paper clip or something holding it closed so i've just got some paper clips here you know not even not even a decorated paper clip or anything but just just like that that one's quite lovely isn't it look at this one oh my goodness isn't that just so scrumptious absolutely love it and to be honest you could have that you know this way up in a journal you could have it glued down as a sort of side pocket like that or you know you could have it obviously tucked into a journal paper clipped in and then of course you know you can then pull it out and you know have a look at it but isn't that so scrumptious oh i just love it so yeah that's another one then we've got Sorry, I did just stop the video to clear up this, um, you know, this mess here rather than have something dabbing it by accident because then I'd be like really irritated. So, yeah, I just cleared up the desk. So then what else have we got? We've got this beautiful one here, which again just opens out like that. Absolutely gorgeous. We have got this absolutely scrummy one in the blue love how that looks isn't that pretty and again actually you know we could have a velcro dot on there i think i will actually i have got a paper clip here so i'm just going to try it with a paper clip and just see see whether i like it with a paper clip oh it is quite nice with a paper clip actually yeah perhaps we'll just have it like paper clipped and then the final one we've just got this teeny little flip out so quite a bit of journaling space in there because obviously you've got several folds like that and it just clips there and again you know could just put a paper clip on there do i have another one just lingering about under my stuff here no i well i probably do have but yeah i can't actually see one I'm sure there must be oh just a just a ginormous one which of course is way too big for this tiny little envelope let me just see whether i've got any tiny ones here yeah i have i knew i must have one somewhere floating around on the desk so yeah let's just pop the paper clip on there like that okay so that one there so how many have we made one two three four five six seven so seven on there which i think is pretty good let me know below which one is your favorite i have to say i'm a little bit torn um yeah, I'm a bit torn between this one, this one, this one I really do love. Um, yeah, this one and this one. Oh, I don't know. Let me know below. Do you have a favourite? Which one is it? And yeah, I hope you feel inspired to make some more of your or some of your own little, you know, love letters, love envelopes. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much then. Bye.